They don't build new football stadiums like they used to. These stadiums are going green, both in construction and in operation. In Minneapolis, almost all of the garbage that fans throw away during Vikings games is recycled or composted, and the trash that isn't is turned into heat for buildings downtown. In Philadelphia, solar panels help power the lights while the Eagles play. And the home of the Seattle Kraken hockey team is the Cadillac of green sports facilities. Water used for the Zamboni is rainwater collected from the arena's roof. Arena managers say it makes for better ice. Experts told me these new stadium designs are good for both the environment and the bottom line. It makes business sense. Like, Why wouldn't you want to uh, invest and implement strategies and technologies that are going to save money down the road, in addition to having a positive environmental and social impact. So just how green will the new Bill Stadium be? The Bills aren't saying, but there are some encouraging signs. First, the stadium deal calls for a sustainable design in line with venues built for the Vikings and the Las Vegas Raiders. Both of those are considered state-of-the-art when it comes to green features. The deal also commits the stadium to be engineered to save water and reduce garbage. In addition, the Bills hired Populous, the architectural firm that has designed a number of green sports venues, including the hockey arena in Seattle. That arena is powered largely with renewable energy. And on top of that, we're going and we're procuring renewable energy credits uh, from other renewable sources to make sure that we run 100% on renewable energy. Recycling and composting diverts 95% of all waste fans throw away. Your hot dog comes in a tray that is fully compostable, right? Your drink is either compostable or fully recyclable. The arena even pays the fare for fans traveling to Kraken games on public transit. We have made a conscientious choice to subsidize public transit for home hockey games. The team's arena is located downtown and readily available on all bus and rail lines. That's not the case here in Buffalo. The closest a bus line comes to Highmark Stadium is two miles. The chair of the Erie County Legislature, April Baskin, is pushing for an extension of bus services to the stadium. The stadium deal makes no mention of public transit, but it does call for 10,500 parking spaces. More details about the new Bills Stadium are expected to come out in the near future. For Channel 2 News, I'm J. Dale Shoemaker with Investigative Post.